Hello everyone, my name is Arianne. Today we're going to read a story called Winter Sleep. Winter Sleep. When it was summer, I stayed at Granny Selby's house. She knew lots of things like the name like the name of flowers and how to spot a deer's hoof print. And where to splash around the pond, climb a slope of green ferns, pass the pass through oak trees with moss on one side and find the secret glade. Butterflies flutter even though it was late. Granny Selby helped me listen for songs of different birds. It was still warm. We stayed right into the summer magic of the night. And we kept so still we saw the dormouse who lived there ran up a hazel tree. Wow. When I went back to stay with Granny, it was winter. I asked her I asked her, Can we go to the secret glade? She said, Yes, if you can find it. Everything was different. The pond was frozen hard. The ferns on, on the slopes looked deep. The, the oak tree was moss. The oak trees with moss on one side were all balmy. And the glade was quiet and bare. It, it wasn't anything the same. No butterflies, no flowers, no birds. I wanted to see the dormouse, but Granny said the dormouse will be having a winter sleep. It was too cold to stay. And I said nothing's alive in winter. Granny Sylvie told me it is. We can't see the dormouse, but she's hiding here. She'll be safely, deeply sleeping, sleeping all winter long. This is her hibernation time. In autumn, she feasts. She feasts on forest nuts, roots, and insects. Then the long nights came. She felt cold, heavy, and sleepy. There was nothing more to eat, so she made a nest above, and she's inside the green, snoring until the spring sun warms her body again. On the way back, I asked, are there other animals hiding in the trees? Granny said, yes. Lots of bats hibernate in trees. On warm nights, they fly across the forest, chasing insects and pulling spiders off, pulling spiders from webs. But even their food rests in winter. So bats snuggle up in a hollow trunk or cave and snooze through the frosty weather. I said, where do all the insects go? told me some are sleeping right under your feet. The ground is frozen hard, but down below there are stage 
beetles, stash beetles, waiting to come out. The queen bumblebee sleeps in bum bumblebee sleeps in a tiny tunnel. Some moths and butterflies hide underground, often wrapped up, waiting for spring. Mother earwings look after their eggs until they hatch when spring comes. We were coming to the pond, so I asked, what about in the water? Granny said, there's ice on top, but the pond life waits below. Before it froze, frogs dive down deep into slimy mud. Now they are still and breathing so slowly they clean. Deed. 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 But when the water warms in the spring, we'll hear them croak again, croaking again. I said, so all sorts of animals are having a winter sleep. That's right, Granny Sally told me. Some even make a special home for, for winter. A bear builds a den deep in the woods. Perhaps in a cave, an old tree trunk, or hidden hollow, hollow. Mommy bears, mommy bears slows right down and rests with her cubs curled up tight on her. A bed made, she's made from soft moss, twigs, and leaves. Granny Sylvie was still telling me about the animals in winter when I was in bed. You, you see, she told me, there's plenty of life tucked up in the cold. I nodded. I could feel the cozy magic of, of the dark night outside. And even though it wasn't very late, I closed my eyes for a winter sleep. So, the story's finished. Well, on the back there is some scientific things about hibernating. Some fish become much, much less active. Active in winter. Their bodies slow down and they eat less. I, I read one of those and that's good. Bye everyone!